Since the dawn of time, the world has made millions of inventions. Some of them are useful, while others are not. However, there is one that is better than the rest. On a warm June night in 1937, Sivan Goldman, the owner of the Humpty Dumpty supermarket chain in Oklahoma, was hit with a stroke of genius. He found a wooden folding chair and put a basket on the seat and wheels on the legs. And with that, the very first shopping cart was born. Commonly supplied by retail stores and especially supermarkets, the shopping cart exists so the consumer can carry more products more efficiently at faster time. Nearly everything can be carried with a shopping cart. Lemons, milk, eggs, le children, lemons, subscribe buttons, anything can be carried with a shopping cart. Some shopping carts are tall, some shopping carts are small, some have no wheels, and some have them all. In many cases, consumers can also use the cart to transport their purchased goods from the store to their vehicles. In the circumstance that a consumer brings their shopping cart out to their vehicle, a cart return exists, creating a new dilemma for the consumer. On May 8th of 2020 at 9.52 a.m., the idea of the shopping cart theory was first introduced to the public. To be paraphrased by the anonymous user, Returning a shopping cart is an easy and convenient task, in which we all consider is appropriate and objectively the right thing to do. There are no dire circumstances or emergencies where a person should not nor could not be able to deliver the shopping cart back to the shopping return. At the same time, however, a consumer at most circumstances is not punished for not returning their shopping cart. No one will punish you for not returning the shopping cart. No one will fine you nor kill you for returning the shopping cart. You gain nothing by returning the shopping cart. You must return the shopping cart out of the goodness of your own heart. It is up to you whether this shopping cart goes back to where it properly belongs. Concluding the post, the anonymous user creates an ultimatum. The shopping cart is what determines whether a person is a good or bad member of society. Although the shopping cart theory is a historic landmark in the science community, I ultimately have to disagree with what it presents. The integrity of someone should not be determined by how willing they are to return a shopping cart. The theory does present points that cannot be argued upon. In most circumstances, there are no reason why a shopping cart would not be able to be returned to its proper designated location once used by a consumer. You can learn a lot from a person based off of what they do with their shopping carts. If they choose to return one, they are a law-abiding citizen. They follow the rules, they are to be respected. The entire shopping cart theory falls completely flat when you consider one retail store. And that store is Aldi. When I think of Aldi, I think of off-brand products and good prices. When a consumer goes to Aldi, they are required to insert one quarter into a shopping cart before they are able to use it. Once the customer is done with their shopping cart, they can get their quarter back by returning the shopping cart. This single business practice is responsible for destroying the entirety of the shopping cart theory. In a sense, all these strips away all humanity. You are a husk of the person you once were. You lose your freedom and opportunity to return the shopping cart. You must return the shopping cart when you go to Aldi. You lose your humanity. You lose your personality. And most importantly, you lose a quarter. When you go to Aldi, you are not a good or a bad person. You are just a person. In a sense, viewer, you yourself are a shopping cart. Every day you must struggle with the burden of life as you continue your tasks, your chores, your grocery list. You must do everything that is needed. You are a shopping cart viewer. When the filth ridden business practices of stores like Aldi exist and requires you to return a shopping cart for the sake of your quarter, you ultimately lose what made you special. Just like a shopping cart at Aldi, money carries you. You are motivated by money and nothing else. You are a shopping cart viewer. It's one thing to fail to return a shopping cart. It's another thing to refuse to return a shopping cart. From my time with you, I can tell that you're a great, you're a wonderful, you're a special and unique person. Everything that you want to be, you can be. You are flawless, you are wonderful, you are beautiful, and you are a shopping cart.
God, what a terrible April Fool's video. <laughs>